Fast, accurate, with Jennifer Copeland and Rick Schutt. You're watching WSBT Channel 22 News at 6. We're getting word tonight you should not feel the impact of apparent money problems from the company that manages the Indiana Toll Road. Yeah, that's according to the Toll Road Oversight Board. Members are reacting to a recent article in the Wall Street Journal. It says the Indiana Toll Road operator might soon file for bankruptcy. WSBT's Kelly Stopsinski is looking into that for us tonight. Kelly, there are also reports the Toll Road could get a new operator. And Jennifer, the state has to make the approval before any new operator can take control of the Indiana toll road. That's part of a lease agreement signed in 2006. It's designed to make sure this road stays open and safe for everyone who wants to use it. Ask any driver. For the most part, it's not too bad. On any given day. What a time this can be very uh, tricky. And you'll get mixed reaction about the Indiana toll road. Compared to Illinois, it's a lot better. Their, their toll roads are a little rough out there. Indiana's Finance Authority confirms the Spanish and Australian companies that operate the toll road are finalizing negotiations for a debt settlement. But the Toll Road Oversight Board says the language in the ITRCC's lease should protect drivers from any impact. Maybe the operators got financial things that they need to do. That doesn't affect you and me as long as the, uh, you know, the road is open, the pavement's good, the ridges are in good repair, the snows are removed, and those kinds of things. Board member John Leatherman says the controversial toll road lease has been a good thing for Indiana. St. Joseph and Elkhart counties each got $40 million. Elkhart used it to help finance projects like the Johnson Street and Six Span Bridges. The money also helped pay for the new US 31 and some 200 other projects in the state. Then there are the improvements to the toll road itself. We have to remember we got three lanes on each side for about 20 miles over by Gary. We got an improved uh, Indiana State Police presence with this. Uh, we got automatic or, or uh, electronic tolling. Uh, we got a lot of things that the state of Indiana did not uh, or was not able to, to uh, provide for us before the lease. Now it's up to the state and oversight board to make sure the promises in that lease are upheld. You might also be wondering about tolls. Will you have to pay more to drive on this road? The short answer, maybe, but that's not because of any new potential operator for the toll road. That's because of the way that this lease agreement is set up. It says that toll road hikes can take effect every year on July 1st, and they kind of figure that out based on different formulas that they use. And according to a former toll road board oversight member, an operator could be able to raise those rates significantly after 2017. He says they still have to keep them within certain parameters, but he says, again, they could go up quite a bit. That also is true if you have one of those iZooms or iPass, and if you use electronic tolling, you might not be able to get the discounts anymore after 2017. Reporting live along the Indiana Toll Road, I'm Kelly Stopsinski, WSBT Channel 22 News.